You know what to do, what to do. Just click on the subscribe button. Click on the subscribe button, yeah. Just click on the subscribe button, yeah. What is good, health squad? My name is naturally Dr. Tesh, and I'm all about the health because nothing is as good as healthy feels. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Natasha, aka Dr. Bay. So, guys, I am so excited to introduce to you this segment in my channel, and it is called The Shoes. <laughs> Welcome to the schmooze! Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> yes guys, welcome to the schmooze. I know you guys are wondering, like, what is this girl talking about? The sh 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 schmooze. The schmooze, you guys, is just another English psychola version, way of saying a conversation, okay? So the talk, the chit chat, the skimmer, okay? Like, that is the meaning of the schmooze, you guys. So, on my channel, I wanted to introduce more segments where we're gonna have real life conversations with people that are around me. And we're gonna talk about everything and anything. So, yeah, if you are really into, you know, real life conversations and story times, then the playlist called The Schmooze on my channel, you guys is just for you so guys in today's episode of the schmooze i'm gonna be having a special guest and as you guys can tell your girl <laughs> is in her natural her i'm actually supposed to be braiding my natural hair um i'm actually waiting for a friend of mine um i've known her for about four years now she has been doing my natural hair you guys um in china so yeah, today's conversation with her is going to be centered around the struggles of being black and the struggles of having natural hair, you guys, in China. But before we go anywhere, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And if you keep on returning to this channel and you haven't clicked on the notification bell, you guys please do okay because in that way you will be part of the notifications world so that you can be notified when your girl updates and of course engage in the comment section below so i wanted to show you the color that i'm going to be braiding today um while we're actually just waiting and i am so excited to see how this color looks on me like if anybody knows me um I don't really like colors that are shh, like out there, you know, but this time I decided to go Not too drastic, you know, still keeping it in the brown the neutral colors, but with a little tint So you guys will see what I mean Um, This is the color that I'm gonna braid <laughs> Hey, guys Guys <laughs> The braid is multicolored, okay, so it goes it goes from like dark to blonde <laughs> i have never done blonde hair guys in my life i hope it's gonna look bomb but i trust that it's gonna look bomb because i think i think it actually goes with my skin tone what do you guys think my guest has finally arrived and she is hella late <laughs> but it's okay you guys um and i will let her introduce herself well, hi everybody, my name is Dr. Adli, I'm from Zambia and well, I'm a student here in China and I've known Tash for quite a while now, we've been very good friends of course that yeah, we're literally classmates in the same school yeah. so she's quite an amazing person, she's inspirational and oh, well, if you watch exactly. most of her videos which I hope you guys keep watching you're gonna know better, like it's absolutely amazing, she's a great person I think I said a lot about you Thank you! Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay guys so we're gonna be talking about some of the challenges and struggles that we face as black people in china you guys like you guys out there have no idea how rough it is okay oh, moving to a foreign country where you don't know anybody when you don't know anything you don't know how the system works like it can be really 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 hard okay so i have got adley here as she introduced herself um to come you know and weigh in on this conversation i want to know about um her struggles um you know that she encountered when she actually came to china what are, what are, what are some of the okay. some of the struggles that you experienced when you came to china especially pertaining here so well um so far now we're like in our fourth year going to fifth so basically uh, we've been in china for approximately four years and to honestly it's been a struggle like mm -hmm. with here because like in my first year when i came here i'm like okay i'm going to a different country i know basically nothing about that place so i was thinking well you know like normal places back in our countries we have hair salons we can right. go there we can do our hair they can pick whatever hairstyle we want and then i come to china and you have no idea basically most of the thing they do <laughs> I, I don't even believe like literally they don't know anything about hair when it comes to like designing of course African hair mm, to be specific. Guys. So for an African person like for me, it was like quite a challenge actually. I had to think about like okay, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know, African hair is really tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you know, keeping it natural is also even more tough. Yeah. So well, I've been braiding my hair for quite a long time, so I actually thought, well, that would work out for me here. As you can see, the hair I have on Guys, style. look at I the hair! I myself, and I always braid my hair all the time. Yeah, you can Guys, this girl is so talented. Can Absolutely I just stop it? Like, really she is so talented, you guys. She does her own hair. Like, who has time for that? Please comment down below. When you're in China, you gotta do it. <laughs> I really, I have respect for people who know how to braid and even braid their own hair. They go to the extent of having time to <laughs> respect. Well, my hair journey actually started at a very young age. I have, I feel like. First, the, the first thing you have to know is braiding hair is all about passion. Mm. Not everybody has the passion to braid hair. I love braiding hair. Which I don't. Exactly. <laughs> that's not even going there. That's why I'm here that's as a like hairstylist. <laughs> which I'm proud of. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love to do hair. It's like, I'm always love to do so hair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, like... I've been doing my own hair like from a very young age. You cannot necessarily remember what age, but I've been doing it for quite a long time. And over time, well, I've been getting better and better exploring new hairstyles and doing more than better, guys. Like she's a professional. Okay, no, okay. No, I'm not exaggerating. I'm from <laughs> <laughs> Normally, people think I'm exaggerating. Like when I say that, there's actually no black hair salons. So I don't know about you. Have you ever come across like a black hair salon? Or like, what is the experience with hair salons in China? Well, in our city, it's not like we don't really have hair salons that can actually do African hairstyles. Well, maybe unless you just want to do a blowout or maybe dye your hair, which is very rare for like most Chinese people to do on an African hair. But then, um, I came across one guy who actually noticed that I can do hair because I've been doing a lot of Chinese people's hair. They're actually very attracted to their African hairstyles and all that kind of stuff. So I've been doing a lot of uh, Chinese hair and um, most of them, like one of my friends just introduced me to some guy who owns like a very huge uh, hair salon and he was like, can you work for us? I'm like, um, okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah. So I was here like, to work with them and all that kind of stuff and it was amazing in the beginning but then you know they were kind of like they're trying to develop a way or a skill to know how, how to how we actually mm -hmm. like how do we do this to kind of find out like how do they do this how do they braid their hair how do they you know like all those questions and trust me if you want to know the most curious people in this world it's the Chinese I take you literally people. curious all yes. the time <laughs> Trust me. No, she's not exaggerating. That's the truth right there. They're so curious about literally everything. They'll be like, can you tutor us like on how to do hair and all that? And I tried but still like didn't work out. So basically in China, it's not easy to do hair, especially on 
let's keep being specific mm-hmm. African here mm-hmm. yeah because I don't want to talk about other people the texture the are to, different yeah like guys, and believe me I've done Chinese here before so many times the texture is very different like it's so not easy to do their hair mm-hmm. but I've met quite amazing people that really love our hairstyles and they look great in it too so it's really a challenge with hair in China for black girls but yeah we get along on and on <laughs> thank god for people like Eddie because I, majority of us guys would be struggling <laughs> nobody wants to rock an afro 24-7 okay the maintenance yeah. of like that. natural hair <laughs> so you guys know that I love my braids and wigs and all of that but I just wanted to find out from Eddie have you experienced any weird or like remarks um, when it actually comes to your hair or you know just being black in China and of course all the time racism in China is like well according to them is they there say, racism in China? Well, I think they're racist, but some of them think they're not, and basically most of them say they don't know they're racist. Okay, I spoke to one of my Chinese friends, and I asked him, I'm like, why do most of other Chinese people act weird around like black people? I think it's a bit racist. Mm. And he's like, no, it's it's not that they're racist. They're they don't know curious. how to interact. Yeah, and they're not used to like hanging around black people. They they don't they they're not really exposed to the outside world. Like, True. So when they see a black person, they're wondering why is he black? Why is she black? Yeah, all this kind of stuff, and they come up with these crazy theories and all that kind of stuff. But well, on the basis of racism, of course, I would say there's some people that are racist, but I've of course met a lot of people that are not racist, wonderful people as well. True. And when it comes to hair, they're always asking, "How did you do your hair? Did you do it yourself? Oh my God, where's your actual hair?" You're like, "Oh, the extensions," and like, "Oh, then where's your hair? Where's your hair?" Like. And they're touching. They can't stop touching. They're touching, taking pictures, taking videos, and they're like all the time. You know, they come close to you. It's really, it's creepy, most of the time. It's scary, you guys. If you're not used to that, you like, see some old lady walk up to you, looking at you, all quiet, and she's like, "How did you do your hair?" <laughs> I'm like, "Hi, how are you?" She's like, "Oh my God, your hair is so beautiful." I'm like, mm-hmm, "Thank mm-hmm. you." <laughs> It's quite crazy actually, but yeah. yeah, of course, they come around, they touch our hair all the time, all taking, the videos, time. taking pictures, Tasha has experienced that, I'm sure, maybe one or twice. A lot! <laughs> Not once or twice, everywhere that I go. Exactly, it's like really tough, but mm-hmm. then we kind of, we like, sometimes the attention is good, sometimes the attention is really annoying and bad, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this mini talk. I am so honored, you guys, to, you know, have Adi here today as my first guest. My pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, well, technically, you're the second guest because <laughs> I actually had um, Dr. Nana I'm on the show. I'm supposed to be happy about that or sad. <laughs> but, guys, she's special. Like, she's one of the official first guests, you guys, that is on the schmooze. She's amazing, guys. I hope you watch more and more videos. And I hope she's going to make more and more fun videos like this because I had fun being here right now. Oh my god, absolutely amazing. I want to make more videos like this. Like, I know you guys are always used to seeing me alone, but I promise to give you guys good content and I'm gonna deliver. Okay, so I am so thankful. Thank you so much for being here. Bye. And now we're gonna start with the braiding. There we go. <laughs> Hey guys, so if you enjoyed this episode of The Schmooze, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down in the commentary section below. Don't forget that eating well and living well is a form of self-respect. Till next time. Oh, now this is good. (laughs) Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. Man, I hope I don't make jokes in your video. I cannot be serious. <laughs> oh, hi everyone. I'm so glad to finally get to meet the fans and all that. My name is Adley and, well, that's basically it. Thank you and dear ETC and all that. I'm not practicing. We're not recording yet, this right? This girl is a medical student. She's like, my name is Adley. That's all. Wait, we're not recording now. Yeah, we are recording. Don't oh, worry. hell no. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry.